<laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back or to my channel. My name is Jen and thank you so much for pressing on today's video. So I'm back with um, kind of a uh, daily, do some dailies with me, maybe clean up my valley a little bit, you know, just um, showing you guys what I usually do every time I log on <laughs> in this game. And we are currently, well, let me show you guys, we are currently in my um, flower room. So this is the flower storage room, which, you know what, let me show you guys, like, the bird eyes view. I'm not done with it. Um, I still need, like, the other vines that will come with, I think, Nala? I think that's the name? Um, I haven't unlocked, uh, her yet, so I'll have to slowly get to that. But, this room was inspired by a, uh, creator. Um, I will post the picture up on the screen for you guys. But, um, this was, uh, inspired by a build that they did with... Uh, the harry potter i think it's called herbology room and i figured that would that would be so like it's so on brand with what i wanted because i've been wanting to have a storage a flower storage room and you know herbology plants all that jazz i need more plants but i haven't unlocked them yet well i haven't found them on you know Scrooge's stores, yeah, but whatever. We'll slowly work towards that. But I'm gonna show you guys what I usually do. And here I have, I have Sir Scrooge McDuck with me. I have a whole bunch of food and the uh, even more miraculous pickaxe polish. And this is what I usually do. I just grab one of my mining buddies and I just go from biome to biome cleaning up everything. So we start off with the plaza first because this is where the house is for now, which um, if you guys saw my, if you guys saw my, um, my little poll that I posted on the communities tab, I did say uh, or ask you guys which biome do you guys want to see me decorate next and I think so far the Forgotten Lands are, is winning, I think, but I can't, well I don't think I can decorate the Forgotten Lands just yet because I only have one resident there which is the Fairy Godmother and I plan on keeping her there. I need more houses so I think I'm going to hold off on Sunlit plateau and the forgotten lands but what i do to begin i need to go ahead and lock scourge mcduck away because i don't like him following me because it kind he kind of gets in my way a little bit i'm not gonna lie so this is what i do i lock him up and then i go around well actually let's let's use this really quickly there you go Okay, so I go around and I clean up the valley, mine all the rocks, and then at the end, I'll let him out, and then he'll give me, like, everything that I need, if that makes any sense. So, let's just go ahead and do this really quickly. But, um, I really want to try and decorate either the forest first, or, um, the plaza, because I have a lot of residents currently living in the forest. That's where I want to be, uh, well, one of my homes to be too, the forest. And I also want um, to do the plaza because I have all of these buildings here that needs to be in the plaza. So I think those two might have to be the first or the next one that I do. So another thing that I do, I will go ahead and take my um, shovel and dig up all these dig spots because uh, I think they give you like pretty neat stuff by need. I mean, like just like some dream uh, light shards and whatnot, which it comes in handy for some quests and stuff. So I tend to do all that and then um, pick up all the flowers, like I said. Also, don't forget to feed your critters. Currently, let me check. Um, I have, for the squirrels, I only need the white one, but it's not here today. So I can't really um, feed the squirrels today, but I have been trying my best to feed them because I need to. I figured out that if you feed your critters, you get some pretty neat stuff from it. And ever since I started playing this game, I've been kind of neglecting that. So I've been trying to incorporate that into my daily routine of um, feeding them or the ones that I want to uh, try to unlock. You know, I don't think I have 
mined that spot yet, so let me go ahead and do that. Or did I? I did. Okay. Well. But as you guys can see, my plaza is not very decorated. I, I've tried decorating it before, but I just figured I'll just like demolish everything. And then that way I can start from scratch when I do end up decorating. Which I'm assuming it's either, it comes down to between the plaza and the forest. So I'll let you guys vote it out in the um the comment Sometimes section but now that i'm done there. um picking up all this stuff i'm gonna uh i'm gonna let scrooge out and then he will go grab me what i need and then that way everything is just like in a little circle i'm not you know fighting for my life jeez actually it's not that much as I thought it would be. I'm kind of sad. Alright, but let's from the plaza, we're gonna head on over to um, the forest. I'm sorry. It's just like, every time I think it's Stitch and who's the other one? Chris off when they're near. They always play like on their musical instruments and it's really annoying and I can never film a video for it. Like, they're always around me. But I get it. So upon entering the forest, this is kind of what I have going on so far. I have all the trees relatively close to each other, which is a tip that um, I recommend you guys uh, practicing or doing. Keep one, or not, not one, four or five trees in um, a biome and, that, and keep them relatively close to each other if you're not using the biome or like not decorating it just yet because you want to make sure that all the wood are it's like it's relatively close you know what i mean so you're not like running around the whole biome looking for a specific type of wood or like picking up your stuff you know what i mean like flowers are easier to see than wood because wood is like on the ground so a tip from me to you <laughs> it makes your life so much easier trust me is he, he's not in there oh my god okay Sorry, this takes a couple of tries. I'm sure there's like an easier way to do this, but there it is. Okay, so he's in there now. Cool. Okay, but yeah, so keep um, four or like five trees in a biome and they'll spawn relatively close, to, like, you know, the drop of the woods will spawn relatively close to each other. You just gotta go around that area, pick everything up, and there you have it. You don't have to try to squint your eyes and see if that's a, a wood on the floor or is it just a hole that you dug or something you know what I mean like look at that it I just picked it up and already respawns which is good because I need a lot of wood and later I'm gonna show you guys um my storage room it's not there's nothing changed about it since the last time I showed you guys but there has been some um, improvement in some areas so I'm happy about that but I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys that in a moment we're just gonna continue picking up some stuff and show you how I offload this this inventory I also recommend that you fish up any blue or orange bubbles because um, those type of fish, they're hard to come by, for me at least, um, you know, so I try to fish up any blue or orange spots while I'm cleaning up the, um, the, each biome, and it's, it helps me accumulate the fish faster than waiting for Moana to fish it for me, or even, um, like Moana's little boat, or even waiting for, uh, when one of the bubbles magically appears when it's time for a quest that I may or may not need them. So definitely recommend you go ahead and fish up any bubbles that you see because, or not any bubbles because the, the white ones aren't really worth it in my opinion. Ignore this little plot of land. This is where the onions are supposed to be, but I haven't been planting onions as of late because I've just been mass producing uh, pumpkins, which I'll show you guys eventually. But I think the holes uh, should cover up in a couple of days and I'm not really that mad about it because like I said, I'm not decorating the forest just yet so that it can be there and I don't care. And plus it's easy now with carpets, you can just quickly, um, you know, take them out and stuff. But 
I'm gonna go ahead and break these rocks, finish up this side. And this is why having food on hand is so helpful because I can just quickly eat and I don't have to go back to my house to rest. So make sure before you start to save yourself time, before you start cleaning up each biome, go ahead, gather all of your um your food that you need, but make sure you don't like fill up your whole inventory filled with stuff. Because that would be pretty bad. So this is the forest where I told you guys I plan on moving the house here or my house here. Um, and I have three other villagers that I plan on keeping here. Uh, Merlin, I want to have like a little camp area in the forest uh, somehow with um, the RV from Buzz and also uh, Wally's little truck thingy. So I think this is going to be like my most crowded uh, biome filled with villagers and maybe if we get like new villagers that are you know a little nicer or like in the house department wise I can add more here but I have Elsa living here too it's just she doesn't really live in a house she lives in the cave department but I don't really count that as um a home it's more of a cave that I can't move if that makes any sense but I'm gonna show you guys how I offset um or offload is it offload i don't know potato potato the entire uh or my my inventory so each biome i have these little boxes that you get from um scrooge where they share an inventory throughout the whole uh you know ev everywhere you place them and i just kind of just throw everything in there this should fit about four biome maybe five biomes worth of goodies that you get depending on well depending on what you get that day you know what i mean so like, if I didn't catch any of the blue or, or orange fishes, then none of these two would be here and then I'll have two extra slots. If that makes any sense? I hope that does. And also I can just drop this off uh, at my other box over yonder. But I have to see what critters are here. Um, hold up. Okay, so none of the critters that I want are here today, so I'm just going to put the blueberries up. Um, well, none of the uh, raccoon critters that I want, but this box should fill about... It usually fills me for my first trip of cleaning uh, the um, valley. It clears... It holds the plazas, the forest, the frozen heights, and dazzle beach, and also the glade of trust, depending if I get some certain items or not so it usually holds pretty good so this box holds the five biomes that i said and also my inventory plus my inventory that i have now so both of those combined it should let you clean up at least five you know um biomes i hope that makes sense i'll show you guys along the way but after the um the forest i head straight to the frozen um lands and i just go in the middle and place uh my mining buddy there but with dazzle beach i recommend that you pick up um all of the little like sea uh shell thingies like the oysters and stuff on the ground as well because they do come in handy for cooking and or future quests that you may need them i like to pick up everything like i said i like to make sure everything is clean or uh, you know try to make sure that they're clean because you know once i finish i start off with the plaza right once i finish everything down to the the mines and the forgotten lands the plaza will be completely filled with more stuff that i need to collect and it just becomes a cycle that you have to continuously do but you don't have to do it like um you know like if you're ocd then you're gonna want to do it constantly but um you don't have to you know constantly mine the rocks and grab the flowers and pick up the stuff like if you just do it each biome once every day you should get enough stuff to the point where you don't even physically need to like go and um do all that jazz you know what i mean i hope that makes sense like to go in again after you've already finished all of the biomes and redo them again rinse and repeat the method you don't have to like three times a day you do not have to do that once a day for each biome once every time you log on for each biome should be enough to like stack up your your inventory and your uh 
your goods for a while. Oh, did I unlock the purple one? I did. Oh, okay. I think that should be all of the 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 turtles, the sea turtles. No, it isn't. I need one more, the black one. Okay. Well, we're close. We're, we're slowly but surely getting there. After Dazzle Beach, we enter the Glade of Trust, and this one I tried to keep um, as clean and neat and tidy as I possibly can, but, you know, with the swamp area, every like everything just looks a little crowded and messy. So I've tried to keep this place relatively clean. I don't know why this big tree arch is here. I think I was in the middle of like decorating and I forgot to remove it. Um, but I'll remove it eventually. I just need to find time to do that. Actually, I'll do it right now. Um, I just have to lock him away really quickly. So one moment. All right, so I've locked him away and now I have to make sure to not fish because I think every time I fish he glitches out and then comes uh, out of the little fence that I've locked him in so I cannot fish until after I need to let him go I have to try to remember that so I got finished I with um, the Blade of Trust, and I ended up having more room in my inventory, so I'm just gonna go ahead and try to clean up most of the, um, the peaceful meadows really quickly, pick up all the flowers, you know, do all that jazz. Sometimes there are some days where I end up having more space than usual, which is perfectly fine. Those are the days that I don't interact with Moana's boat. Uh, that's one, and, uh, or I just wait till later to interact with the boat or those will be the times that I use up all the fish that I found um, and I haven't or I don't see any blue or yellow um, fishing spots which saves a lot on the room department. Now it's a little harder to clean up biomes where you've already decorated um, because you know things will spawn in the middle of nowhere like these little mushrooms here or like flowers will spawn in areas that are harder for the you to reach so then you'll have to physically go into your you know like your furniture mode and then pick them out drag them to an empty plot of land and then run to that land to get it you know what I mean like it's it's um it's a little more tedious definitely to clean up places that you've already decorated but if you haven't added flowers like how i haven't added any flowers picking them up it's very crucial because right now we have no other way of getting flowers that we need if we were to run out of them do i already have you i think for the bunnies i only need you and you're not here today so but i'm sure when and if we do get another way of uh, collecting flowers that we like you know our biomes can no longer spawn because we've um added so much flowers and reached the flower limit max i think my daily routine will definitely change from having to physically pick up everything um well flowers especially because i just wish there was like a flower stand where i can just buy flowers off of uh off of whoever sells them you know what i mean like a Kristoff um, material stand, but for flowers, that would be so neat and very helpful to us people who have completely decorated to the max of their biomes, where flowers will no longer grow. That would be really nice. So, Game Waft, if you're listening, please bless us with that option. Thank you. Now that I've picked up everything I could from uh, all of the biomes that I've mentioned so far, so I believe like six of them, this is what both storage uh, storage and inventory should look like. And that's when you just go into your house, which I have this box, the storage box, in both my flower room and my uh, storage room. Um, so they're like, easy for access right here. And you just go in there and you just plop in, you know, now that we have the smart transfer, you just plop in all of your... Uh, your goodies that you've found and picked up and you just drop them in here and this is 
it's so easy it's so quick and all in all everything should take you about like an hour to do i know not everyone has an hour of their time to sit here and physically do this and grind away but you have to admit this is a very grindy game so for you to be able to get on and to do this the future you will thank you <laughs> The future you, the future you will thank yourself. Is that how that that go saying goes? I don't know, but you get the point. You in the future will pat yourself on the back and say thank you for taking care of this for me because there are so many moments where I needed these like orange looking like little like gemstones or I needed like wood or something that like you know, two hundred wood that I didn't have on hand and it helped me so much because I've been doing this. And, you know, there's some people who will just go above and beyond. Like, they'll even, like, start digging in every single, like, mining up so much stuff. And, you know, cooties to those people. But, like, kudos. Oh, my God, not cooties. Oh, my God. See, English is not my first language. Please do not come at me. But, um, you get what I mean. You know, like, good on those people who, like, you know, would go and physically dig up these, like, every single, like, dirt path spots that they see because they want to get like the, the dirt or like you know um the the mud uh, that's left on the thing the clay that that's what it is the clay in all honesty if you make sure that your um your storage room is organized you know that you know where everything is and that you're not struggling to figure out where you know a and b boxes and all that jazz putting stuff away now that we have smart transfer will be so much easier on your life you will be thanking yourself um and it's it's so therapeutic to be able to like have a clear inventory at the end of everything now as you can see here i think in this box i have officially ran out of room for these um items so instead of throwing them away or selling them do not sell them like how i did because you don't get much from them uh what we could do is just open up another little chest box somewhere so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how i do that right now what i do is i go in the furniture mode i have these i made a little too much one time um i wish there was a way for you to recolor these boxes if i'm gonna save these boxes i'm, like, I'm not gonna like throw away, them away because you can't but you get the point if there's a way to recolor these boxes of course it will cost flowers you know and all that jazz but if there's a way to recolor these boxes that'd be so nice because why would i make a whole nother box when it's just a color overhaul just give me just give me the paint bucket and i will recolor them you know what i mean but yeah, if there's a way to recolor them that'd be so nice but for here i'm going to be adding uh regular wood here because i think i have way too much regular wood and i need to uh take them out of this box and maybe put like i don't know soft wood here because i have a lot of soft wood so let's transfer that and then i'll just slap this over here i want to like move it a little bit so it doesn't look like it's like in a single file line if that makes sense same with this one i'll just like make it look there you go so if you like switch it around it doesn't look like so organized so in a straight line now for for these right here the spice the spice box i might have to instead of completely making a new section because i'm not going to have any space i think what i could do which is a little rough on my department I think what I need to do is just make a bigger box for it because eventually I'm going to run out of space again. So let's just make a bigger box where I can, how, how do you make the medium box again? I need more iron. Oh, but I do want it in a medium white box. Okay. All right, so we have the medium white box and I'm gonna go ahead and grab everything out of this box so that I can just put this away immediately in the storage. That way I don't have to make space for it. And then go ahead and um, just take this box out. 
go to storage, add in the medium box that we just built. And I always recommend you use the medium box. Um, if you use the big one, I mean, like, it's not like, you know, anything's going to change, right? The big one just gives you, like, two extra slots. But if I'm being honest, the big one costs, like, what, 10 uh 10k of your dream light and is that even worth it at this point like you get two extra rows and that's it meanwhile the medium one i can just like make another medium box you know what i mean and it costs like half but actually not even half of that how much is it let me let's check right now for the large box it costs five okay sorry 5k of your that's like that's a lot that's a lot of grinding for the medium box it only costs i believe yeah 1k so it's not even that bad so just stack up on the medium boxes don't even try to get the large box unless you have like an abundant of you know dream light and you just don't care but for me i do care so but after i put all of the goodies away i go straight to the flower room the flower storage room and i have the storage box right here i just pick up all the flowers that's left in the box and you know this one you have to manually transfer but i kind of like it because it's fun i just spam the button on my controller <laughs> lol um you just manually pick up everything i'll even pick up the the seed because you know what why not and you just smart transfer it to your boxes so over here i forgot to give you guys a little tour but um the middle is where all of the decoration kind of goes you know once i get more like plotted flowers or flower pots i will be adding them onto this table and moving things in and out i even added little gems because you know like i just thought that's like a cool little nifty touch to it i don't know but on this side we have the pink and purple flowers so all the pink and purple flowers kind of go into if i can open this box into this box um i figured you know why not just try to stick to uh like a nice color theme over here they're the red and the oranges and i just you know plop in here down this way the this is the yellow and the white let me just yeah and then over here is the green blue black and green all the like miscellaneous ones which slowly we're running out of space as you can see so i'll have to make a medium box i think every other box in here is medium except for that one this one is green um because I accidentally built the wrong box color and I just left it there for now, but it'll change. Maybe the green might add an extra little flavor to this room. I don't know, but um, this is so far my uh, storage, flower storage room, and then I should be completely done with, well, not completely, completely done. I should be completely done with emptying my storage. So I'm officially done with Sunlit Plateau and the Forgotten Lands. Now we are in the cave, the final and last destination of us finishing up um, our dailies. And I'm just going to go ahead and put on the even more miraculous um, polish thingamablobber. And then we're just going to go ahead, go through this entire mine, try to get as much stuff as we can from here, and then um, go drop off the stuff in our storage room and then um well actually do some quests it's really this mine i feel like this could be there could be improvement actually um like the little passageway is so narrow if you and a friend or like you know a buddy goes down there like it's so difficult to see when they give you extra stuff you know um, also, like, the camera angles is just not that great. The roofing is very, very small, like, very, very low. So, that doesn't help me either. But, you know what? It's fine. I, I just hope that they maybe raise the roof, the top, a little bit more. So, there's more headspace so that the camera doesn't glitch into the thing, if that makes any sense. So anyways guys, I'm going to be ending the episode here. Thank you so much, or the video, not the episode, well, the video here. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you guys are going to be incorporating any of these, um, these tips and tricks that I've uh, given you or just any of the 
you know, the things that I have been doing into your video. If not, let me know what you're doing that's different. Maybe I can learn a thing or two. And don't forget to hit that like button if you want to see more content like this. Hit that like button. I've been on a kick with uh, uploading lately um, after my two week uh, or two and a half week break off of YouTube. So I'm kind of making my way back. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, comment down below, do all that jazz. I'll see you later. Bye!